Good evening everyone, welcome to another video. It looks like a lovely evening tonight. Hopefully we don't get any rain if it is a little chilly. So if you're new, hit subscribe down there and ring the notifications bell. Loads of non-league content on this channel. This is the fourth game this week. Went to Chelmsley on Monday, Fairford on Tuesday and Kidlington last night. Some very good games this week go back and check any of those out after this anyway tonight I have for you fa youth cup action it's the first qualifying round and we are off to glevon park and it is the toughly rovers under 18s against bath city under 18s so looking forward to this youth games are usually full of lots of goals so hopefully i don't curse that now Anyway, I'm off to go and pick up Robbie now, and maybe Adam, possibly making his maiden appearance this season. We shall see shortly. See you at the ground. Enjoy the video, and intro! Here he is. He's already had a burger, he's got another one. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Yep, we have good burgers here at Tuffley. How's your second burger, Dave? Lovely. <laughs> a good eight out of ten. An eight? Yeah, a good eight. Well done, stadium announcer. Yeah. Announcer. Oh, it's 
it's random, it's brilliant, that's good. Yeah. You pop the foot and it moves around all over the toes. Yeah. It's tired of it, I No, I've got to go back to you. Right, prediction time. Robbie finds it a bit tricky. So while you're thinking about it, yeah. like I said earlier, Tuffley 4, Bath City 2. There you go, Dave, it's easy. Right well, then, what do you reckon? It's really difficult. Uh, <laughs> I think Bath, I'll go with Bath for the hell of it. Yeah? 5 2 Bath. 5 2, very, mm. very nice. We'll take that. We'll see, Dave. A leap of that is. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, it's Tuffley the uh, Bath. He's lucky that's only a talking to. Talk about against the runner play. <laughs> Just a bit. That's so how you do it, you've got to put your chances away. Talk about against the runner play. Oh, lovely. What a goal! That was class! Goal scorer for Tuffy Rovers, number 9, Rudy McKinnon! Hello! Oh, lovely! Oh, goal! Oh, He was taking his time. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Save. Bold, incorrect in the dictionary. I don't know, Dave. Oh, fuck. That was close. Ooh, nice one. Here's uh, Robert performing his COVID duties. Yeah. Only mask needed to be worn inside. He's wearing his <laughs> outside. Shut up. <laughs> 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 
Oh, oh didn't catch it. No. Oh, oh, that, that would have been brilliant. Oh dear. <laughs> So where did he come from? Yes, go. Come on. Oh, he's done it again. Yeah! The second is number nine, Lee McKinnon. Has two. Oh, he's done it again. Called it. What is that? No way. Just a bit. Did he flick it in? There's a miss kick full corner, isn't it? So I got to him. Don't go over. That's a killer goal. What is that? No way! What a lad. March on. Oh, I'm lucky. Fucking idiots, all of them. That bad, I nearly didn't catch it, I don't think.
is doing that. But, uh, What's up, Bob and Nearly Dink? Yep. Is it that way? Yep. Definitely. On behalf of Tiffany Rivers, I'd like to thank you all for your support tonight. Have a safe journey home and stay safe. Yes. Yes. He's got to get all his slags off now, Dave. <laughs> so there we are, full time Tuffley Rovers under 18s 4, Bath City under 18s 1. Really good game of football, that was really enjoyed it. A Tuffley were dominant for the majority of it, but Bath City took the lead somewhat against the run of play. Tuffley were having all the chances, but as soon as Bath got in on goal, their player slammed it past the goalkeeper, leaving him no chance, and they took an undeserved lead, but the lead they had. But almost immediately, Tuffley went up the other end of the pitch, and it was a beautiful little dink over the defence, and the Tuffley player got in, and finished at the near post by the look of it, leaving the keeper no chance. So one each at half time. Into the second half, the game continued in the same vein. Tuffley having the majority of possession, passing the ball around really well, have lots of efforts on goal, but just not a lot of conviction in the finishes. They finally did take the lead, and it was a lovely, a lovely, a lovely little dink over the defence again. Tuffley number 10 it was, I think, who assisted both the first goals. Lovely little flick over the defenders, and the Tuffley player got in and beat the keeper again with a great finish. They continued to put pressure on Bath, finally got the third goal to kill the game off. Oh, if my memory serves me correct, bit of an error from the goalkeeper. Wasn't quite sure what happened because I wasn't watching properly. I just caught it as he put the ball into the goal. And then they got the fourth that they probably deserved. Came from the corner. Not sure what happened there, whether the Tuffley player actually flicked it in or whether it came off a defender. But in it went and put a gloss on the scoreline that Tuffley deserved, in my opinion. They were much the better side. Like I said, they were much more convincing in their passing. And Bath, they just, they just struggled to find players with their passing and couldn't get their game going, really. So congratulations, Tuffley, into the... Second qualifying round of the um, FA Youth Cup they go. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and leave any of your comments on the game. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe down there right now. Ring the notifications bell. Lots of non-league content on this channel. Thank you very much for watching. Do share this on your social medias. Let's get this out there for the fans. Those of you that were there. And those that weren't, good night and hopefully if I can find the game I will see you again tomorrow.